another interesting session for AMC today because <laughs> during the first part of the trading session, guys, it was down 6% and it kind of recovered quick, even though we still dropped on the red. We still closed on the red, but if you look at this, man, at the time we were down below the $30 mark and that represented almost a 6% drop and came back down to be, you know, up on the green more than 1% after hours now. But what is interesting, guys, is as we have more institutions filing because we are closing on the deadline for this, I mean, the, the, the second quarter of 2021. So we have the big dogs loading up, at least as of June 30th, okay? As of June 30th, it seems like the big dog have been loading up like big time. So if you look, all of these greens are actually new positions being opened and it is still even, you know, it's still encouraging. But the thing is, when you have the big dogs like BlackRock, okay? If you look here, BlackRock now, as of June 30th, is reporting more than 30 million shares of AMC that they own and the average cost of $33. So even at this current point, given the fact that they are still holding because we don't know at this point, this was uh, uh, um, back in June 30th, okay? So if we consider that they're still holding, they are not far from what they actually have the average cost. And you know, those big guys, whenever they jump, they jump for big money, okay? But that's, that's not even the only interesting news. The thing is, if you scroll down, you will see another big name, Raymond James Financial Services. And Raymond James, uh, uh, um, the company, actually also increasing. Susquehanna International Group actually also increasing. The Bank New York Mellon actually also increasing. And then you have Deutsche Bank. These are big names when it comes to Wall Street. And usually, these guys, you will see that they average are kind of around the same 33, 45, 33, 44, which gives me the impression that, hey, these guys may be still holding the bag and uh, they are kind of waiting for this whole thing to pop, okay? Now, when you jump to market bit, you will see the institutional ownership of market bit for this new quarter. It is insane. It is even bigger than what we had back on the second quarter. Look, the highest of the buys were almost $240 million. And then look at where we stand right now, $531 million. Now, the big question is, if the big money, okay, if the Wall Street guys still think that we are the dumb money, why in the heck will these big dogs, okay? Like BlackRock is one of the top, 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 top dog in, on the street. Why are they still holding and even increasing their shares when CNBC, Fox Business, and Jim Cramer are telling us it's way inflated, okay? And all the short sellers are here saying how bad of an investment AMC is. I guess maybe they do know something that we don't. And before I end this video, guys, remember the last time we had such an increased interest from the suits into AMC, it went from $10 all the way up to 70 so maybe this time around, with all the catalysts in play, we'll see new OMSA highs, new all-time highs, and definitely when it happens, with all the new shorts coming in here, small, medium, and even large, I can guarantee you, it's gonna cause something even bigger.